Inadequate space at the district hospital at Gwolu in the Sisala West District is a major headache for health authorities. So the assembly is supporting infrastructure development. A lot more has to be done to ensure effective health care delivery. Badana Alfo reports males, females and children share wards and cross-infection threatens health care. <laughs> When you go to the children's ward, it serves as a children's ward and a female ward of about 12 beds. Our major challenge in this facility has to do with the lack of space. In fact, it was so appalling that you go into a male ward, you see a male patient, the next patient on the next bed is a female. Have they told you that? Health staff are overwhelmed. They work in a dangerous environment Established in 1975 and upgraded into a district hospital in 2012, buildings of the Sisala West District Hospital remain same. We have the Ghana mothers, who, who we call the pregnant women, and then we have the postpartum mothers, and we have the, the newness themselves with their mothers in the same room. And we have just two wars for admitting clients. The result of this is dangerous to health staff and patients. In the peak where we have a lot of clients, peak, the, the peak of rain, that is around July, August, we see men, women all putting together. Of course, there is big danger. There will be criss-cross infection. Other people can infect others. With an increasing population of 6,000 and more, the referral facility needs more services, but authorities can't do it. We need to establish some of the units, but because of the lack of space, we are unable to do that. For instance, we thought of establishing an eye unit, the ENT, that's ear, nose and throat. We even thought of introducing catering services in the facility, but all has to do with uh, the lack of space. The District Health Directorate has taken steps in fixing the space challenge, but this is yielding very little results. For health authorities, there are two ways in dealing with the space challenge. This is what we have. And so if there could be any support for now for us to expand this place, so that we can operate at our capacity, full capacity. I think that would help. The district hospital too wouldn't be, would, would not be a bad idea, but thinking about the time span. A new district hospital is also on the minds of the traditional council. In fact, some steps have been taken. Last year we went to plead with the session as the president, Akufuado. We plead with him to give us a, a new hospital. He agreed. Yes, yes, we have given the land. 30 acres, yes, not very far from here. While they wait to get the green light, the assembly is working hard to fix some of the challenges facing the facility. That facility, we intend to use it to solve this problem in a way so that when these children and the uh, nursing mothers are out of the main ward. We can now have a complete ward for female and male. Right. And then the children and then the nursing mothers will not be part of it. Adding more space will certainly improve work here. One of the key challenges facing the district facility is inadequate space. And officials are lamenting on how effective they could be without adequate space to work with. This 40-bed capacity maternity block is expected to ease congestion. Their hope is that more infrastructure is put up to enable them work and work effectively. Bright Nananfo, TV3, Golu. And that's our mission for tonight, brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU.